Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning, our young people. Good morning, all our elderly people. We would like to use this opportunity to greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We will be trusting that we, like every Monday morning, we will have a little video that will, that will give us an introduction to the few days that we have ahead of us in this little devotion. And for the next few days, we would like to speak on the power of multiplication. You see all the vegetables on my left and all the vegetables on my right. These we could not touch unless we had a seed like this, as small as this, and place it in the soil. And the seed, the power that was in the seed, produce some of these vegetables. I want us to pray. Let's pray before we read the word of God. If there be any unspoken need, if there's anything that you need that we need to pray for, wherever you are this morning, you can just slip up your right hand and we will pray with you this morning. Heavenly Father, in the wonderful name of Jesus, we take this opportunity as a God-given one. We could have not done this unless you have given us the grace to do this, Almighty God. I pray for your children. I pray for every brother and sister. Hands that has been lifted up, O oh God. We pray that the mercies of Jehovah be with them this morning. May you touch them this morning in a special way. Whatever they need, our Lord, and whatever they desire is, I pray, O oh God, that you touch and heal them and give to them this morning the desires of their heart. Father, I ask your blessings upon the rest of the week. I ask your blessings upon this little devotion. I ask your blessings upon this little inspiration. Bless us now for these few next moments. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Like we said, that we would like to just do a little, we just want to dramatize to you and just bring it to you this morning in the simplest way that we can ever do it. Remember that we are the seed of God, that we are the seed of Abraham. And I would just like to say this morning that the seed that I have in my hand this morning, we cannot know the ability of this seed unless the seed is placed in the ground. Here is saad se potential kan ons nie weet totdat ons hierdie saad in die grond geplaas het nie. Until we place that seed in the soil, we will know the ability of the seed. And I just want to slip something in here that remember that there is nothing that can stop the seed to bring forth its kind. The Bible says in the book of Genesis 1 that in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. We needed the heavens. We needed the sun. We needed the earth so that the seed can bring forth of its own kind. And down the verses the Bible says and God called the dry land earth and the gather together of the waters God called that seas and God saw that it was good and in verse 11 and God said let the earth bring forth grass the herbs yielded seed and the fruit trees yielded fruit after his kind whose seed is in itself upon the earth and it was good and I want to just bring it to you this morning that we must realize that every seed carries within him all the potential. Every brother, every body of Christ, every bright member this morning. Look at yourself this morning. Look at your wife. Look at your husband. No matter the shape. Remember, sometimes we look at the shape of the seed and sometimes it's not attractive. 
But I want to say to you this morning, don't look at the size of the seed and the shape of the seed. But what I want to say this morning, that in every seed, there is potential to bring forth, hallelujah, all the potential that is in that seed. And I want to say this morning, I want to just use this pumpkin to, to just to illustrate to you this morning, before we close this little devotion, I want to cut the pumpkin open. I want to, I hope everyone can see this morning. I want to cut this pumpkin open. And I just want to show you this morning, by the grace of God, that one seed produced about 300 seeds. And I want to show you this morning that there is power in the seed of God. There is kracht for more and the seed of God. Look at all these beautiful seeds. Hundreds and hundreds of these seeds are in this one pumpkin. I mean, we're talking about the multiplication of seed. We're talking about the power of seed. You can never realize the power that's in the seed until you take this very little seed and place this little seed in the soil. Hallelujah. Because in this seed, there is so much potential to bring forth of its kind. One seed brings forth about 300 other seeds. And I want to say this morning to you, my precious brothers and sisters, my table maybe looks a little bit messy this morning, but I want to just say it to you this morning, that God has created the heavens and the earth so that seed can grow on that earth. And He gave us the sun. God has placed us, me, you, here on the face of the earth. Sometimes our trials and our, our testings are so hard. You find yourself in dark places. Hallelujah. But I want to encourage you this week that you have the potential to bring forth Hallelujah, every little potential that is right in you as the seed of God, you are able to bring forth that life that's in you this morning. I wonder if there's somebody that just feel to pray with me again. Heavenly Father, you have given us, oh God, such a wonderful privilege. This little short message showing your bride the body of god out there that you have placed us here we are not here for nothing but lord we are the seed of god and the power that lays within us we have the power to speak the word and to grow to full maturity and because of our lives and our testimonies we can produce many many other christians because of our lives help us to remain solid and grounded in the precious presence of the Almighty God. Bless us today, the week to come. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you, brothers and sisters. I'm looking forward to speaking to you again. Amen.